Good morning, my Ward Nerds. How are you? Welcome to the wonderful Wednesday edition of Word of the Day. Hi, Jody. Thanks so much for being here. Hi, Smartphone, my bestest friend. Oh, are we having connection problems? Please tell me we're not having connection problems. I thought I'd already fixed that. Uh, maybe that'll do it. I don't know. Hey, Pookie, and Smartphone, jo Smartphone joins again. All right, let's start this over. Good morning, my word nerds. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to the wonderful Wednesday edition of Word of the Day. My name is Christine. I am a member of the Perry Girls, and each and every weekday morning, I bring you a new and amazing word of the day for you to add to your vocabulary so that you can sound smarticles. Good morning, John. I saw you sneak in there, too. Let's see who else snuck in. I want to make sure I give shout outs to all the peeps that are here. We got John, we got Ariel, we got Pookie, we got Jody, and we got Smart Bone. All right, guys, you ready for today's word of the day? Today's word of the day is compathy. Compathy. C O M P A T H Y. C O M P A T H Y. Compathy. It's kind of like empathy and company got together and had a baby word, and the baby word is compathy. Compathy is defined as feelings shared with another or others, like happy or grief. So, this is when, so empathy is when you feel what other people are feeling. And sympathy is when you can relate to what other people are thinking, right? But compathy is when you're all feeling it together for the same reason at the same time. So I was thinking about this this morning and I was trying to find a, an example of compathy that anyone who watches, hey Carla, thanks for retweeting that anyone who watches this scope can really relate to. And as long as you were born before 2000, you should be able, well even 2001 I guess, um, you should be able to relate to the compathy that we all felt on the 12th of September of 2001. This entire globe, pretty much the entire human race, we all had compathy with the deep rooted grief that we felt after the attacks on September 11th of 2001. Just last week, there an entire city had compathy as they all felt shock and grief and the sadness after the attacks in Manchester. So I know it's a really sad example, but it's what comes to mind when I think of a large group of people all feeling the same thing at the same time for the same reason. Right, that that grief, that sadness, that disbelief, that that mourning process that they all now need to go through. That's an entire city experiencing compathy, C O M P A T H Y, compathy, and it's when all the feelings are shared amongst a group. So again, it's kind of like company and empathy, kind of mushed together in one word called compathy, C O M P A T H Y. Now, at a wedding. Right? Everyone's really excited, normally, unless you're the mother-in-law. <laughs> but everyone's normally really excited. Um, at a birth, you know, family is just overwhelmed with joy. That family is feeling a, a compathy of joy. Or at the wedding, a family is feeling a compathy of excitement and, and um, jubilation. You know, that their families are growing, that they're merging. Um, that their loved one is, has found the perfect person to spend the rest of their lives with. So those are some better examples of compathy or at least some lighter, happier versions of compathy. So again, compathy, C-O-M-P-A-T-H-Y, is when you and a group or you and another feel the same feeling, the same emotion at the same reason for the same time. Okay, so there is your wonderful Wednesday edition of Word of the Day. Compathy is your word. Use it, don't abuse it. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Know that I love you all. And I will see you back here again tomorrow morning for the third day, Thursday edition, paired up with the heart drives of Word of the Day. So until then, mwah, mwah, mwah. bye now.